Hello and welcome to your next tutorial on JavaScript, and we're about to start a mini series. Bum bum bum. Nah, nah. Well, we know we really are, but anyways, this series will be on objects, and it's not so many because it's pretty much the rest of JavaScript or most of the tutorials after this. Um, but don't be alarmed. This is something that you'll really want to learn how to do, and it's very important. So JavaScript is an object-oriented programming language. Now, this this is, isn't exactly the most easy thing to explain, but basically an object-oriented programming language gives you the option to create your own objects, uh, protect the information that you create in them, and a lot of other things like polymorphism, and y you won't Ha and you won't really have to know that kind of stuff yet. We're not going to be getting into that kind of advanced programming. Uh, but it, it pretty much works the same way between all OO languages. Anytime you see OO, that pretty much means object-oriented. Okay, so let's start by creating our own object, otherwise no, uh, uh, excuse me, otherwise known as instantiating the object. So. Um, just like with functions, we usually want to create them in our header file, in our header tags. So anyways, let me kind of describe to you what objects are. So basically objects are a piece of data that you are creating or has already been created in JavaScript that have their own properties and methods. A very basic example, any textbook uses, uses these examples like uh, let's say you as a human being you are an object and what kind of properties do humans have they have like a height weight um, skin color eye color um, I don't know well all those kind of features all the features of your body and, and your personality maybe traits those could all be properties and what was the other methods methods are basically functions that will maybe calculate something using your properties that you have and it will return a value and that will make perfect sense in a moment so let's uh, let's start so I'm going to create a function that will pretty much be our object so I'll call it report card uh, a pair of parentheses opening curly brace and curling braces now inside these parentheses just like with any other function will be the parameters that you're passing in so what kind of properties does a report card have well the classes that you take of course so the first thing is is I'm going to introduce the this keyword now anytime you are creating, or excuse me, instantiating an object, you'll use the this keyword. And basically what it does is refer to this right here. You could just type in report card, but this is just a shorthand. You can just use this to make it, you can use this, this, <laughs> uh, in order to make it easier. So it will be followed by a dot, then after that, whatever the property is that you want to create. So what kind of classes do you take? English and that will be equal to a variable that we'll create later um, there's there's math there's I don't know science and uh, there's history excuse me yeah and there's some sort of extracurricular let's say music because I like music so these will all be properties of this object. So you could just write down report card, report underscore card here, but why bother? Let's just call it this. So let's create our parameters. So down in these tags, we'll say var a will be equal to um, type in your grade in numbers 
and we'll make the default value zero. So let's say we want to calculate the GPA of whatever student we're talking about. So this would be a report card object. Now, of course, with all of these, when you're typing in a number in a confirm, it's taken in as a string automatically, so we'll have to convert these. Sorry about that, but I like to make realistic examples for you that would make more sense, rather than just typing in easy stuff that wouldn't help you. I like to have good examples. So the converted A will be equal to parse int and then the name of the variable that you want to convert which is just A. So type in your grade for English and we're going to be doing these for all the classes. So click copy and then paste. So that's that's two, three, four, five. So we have five different classes. So we'll have a B here. C, oh shoot. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. I'm not good with using my mouse for quick changes. and type in your grade for math type in your grade for science type in your grade for history type in your grade for music okay so um, how GPA works in case you don't know as zero is an F A is a four that's why if you have all A's it's all fours your grade point average will be four times the number of classes you're taking divided by the max amount of credits you can get which is you know still four four times the number of classes you're getting and that will just come out to be four so that's why you get a 4.0 it's pretty easy uh, so these will be the different classes and now we're gonna wanna be able to pass them in into this so what we'll have to do is create our own object so you create a variable first and type in, since, since we don't know arrays, we're going to have to type in the actual people. So let's just use me for an example. So we'll create a variable and we'll call it new, since we're in, so this will tell uh, JavaScript that we're now going to be referring to a new object rather than something that's already predefined. And then the name of that function, so it's just report card. Now we're going to have to pass in all of our information, so we'll have all of this. You know, I'll just copy the that part. So I'll type in A, paste, comma, B, paste, comma, C, paste, comma, D, paste, comma, E, paste. So what will happen is a confirm box will continue to pop up. You type in 0 through 4, 0 being an F, 4 being an A, and it will be converted from a string into a number. Now creating this object, let's just call it Adam, you will pass all those different numbers into this uh, function, this new newly created object. Now this function for an object, by setting these different properties to the value that the person enters uh, this is called a constructor because basically it's just constructing all the pieces of data for you and that's all it really does so first of all we're gonna have to type in our corresponding our uh, corresponding information so the first one we are English then math then science then history and then music. So then we'll set this dot ing to the English grade. Uh, then that will be the math. Science. History. And lastly, music. 
Now, in order to refer to this information outside of the function, all you'll do is type in Adam followed by a dot and then whichever piece of information that you would like to see. So you just you just type these in. And that's about it for uh, just creating your constructor. Now let's talk about a method. So a method will be an actual function that you will refer to inside the constructor. So I'll type in this dot and it's called GPA because we want to calculate the GPA. So we'll set it equal to the next function that we'll create. So let's create the function first. So the name of it will be, I don't know, grade. Let's just call it grade. You'll have no parameters, but you will still have your parentheses there. Opening and closing curly brace. Now inside this, you'll create another variable and we'll actually call it the grade point average. Now, how do we take all this information here that we now created and apply it into a separate function? Well, since you're now referring to this function from the constructor function, you can just type in these right here. So you can still type in this dot in plus this dot math plus this dot science make sure I spell all these right this dot hist and this dot music then we're gonna have to divide it by the, the maximum number of points that you can get so the maximum is 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So we'll have to divide the points that you get by 20. And that will give you your grade point average on a 4.0 scale. Now because of order of operations, we'll have to make sure to have a parentheses, pair of parentheses around all this addition. So all this is done first before dividing by 20. And then in order to return this information, we'll type in return whoops GPA and then right here when referring to this function you just type in the function name without parentheses so bear in mind that this may be a function but you do not put your parentheses here so all of this information right here are your ah, I already forgot what was I doing sorry brain brain went out properties so all these right here are properties while this right here is a method because you're now referring to a function so now this GPA right here since you're returning this variable GPA to this grade right here and it will be set equal to this dot GPA so now after all of that is done you can now type in document dot write And then in parentheses, your GPA is, and then plus Adam dot GPA. So I type in save, and let's refresh the page. Oh shoot, they're all confirm boxes. All right, this is going to be a two-part video. I'll be I'll be right back.